Good morning everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to quickly talk about what the stock market futures are looking like, what to anticipate in terms of earnings for this upcoming week. And we're also going to be talking about a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm watching this morning on the 15th of April in 2019. So without further ado, guys, let's just hop right into it. I don't want to keep you guys too long this morning. The S&P 500 is down about $1.75 right now, down about 0.06%. The NASDAQ's down about $5.50, down about 0.07%. And the Dow Jones is down about $22, down about 0.8%. So really very little movement here this morning in terms of the three major indexes that we follow for the U.S. stock market. Really, it's showing that we're seeing a bit of a pullback, but nothing crazy at all. We still have to see see what is going to happen in the first 30 minutes to an hour in the market to really decide and see for ourselves what is going to happen. But that is what the futures are looking like so far. This morning, we actually had earnings from Goldman Sachs and Citi. Uh, you know, city, uh, two banks here. We can see, I don't want to get too deep into this, but we can see Goldman Sachs actually beat on revenue, but they missed on EPS. I believe we can see here first quarter revenue misses, um, you know, earnings top expectations. And I don't know city's ticker. Let me just guess it's city. Um, you know, no, it's not city. Uh, but just know that Goldman Sachs, that's the bigger out of the two. They ended up beating on EPS, but they missed on, um, uh, what's it called on revenue? If we look over here to the SPY ticker symbol SPY, this is an S&P 500 ETF. I like to look at this in the morning to see how you know the overall market is reacting in terms of the 500 largest publicly traded companies. And if we're hopping over here to the one day one minute, we can see since Friday's close at about 290, we've kind of just been hovering around that same area. We popped up here at about 7:30 a.m. to about um, you know, 290.45, uh, that's 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard, and we've been selling off to about 290 in terms of the SPY, but we're not seeing too crazy of a break-in pattern here to the downside in terms of uh, pre-market hours here. We can see the NASDAQ futures are down about $5 right now. Again, like we said, they are a bit red, but overall, we're still maintaining that support at about 76.30 that we've been talking about over the previous couple of videos. So keep an eye on that level today for the NASDAQ. Are we going to break that level of support? Maybe retest the 50 simple moving average. If we break that level of support, you know, the next spot we're going to be testing is going to be around 7530. These are some things I'm watching in terms of the major markets. And again, just keep an eye on on the break of pattern for the SPY, you know, are we going to slowly start to pull back this morning? If the markets pull back, this is something very, very critical. So hopping over here to this little, um, picture that I actually stole from one of our Discord members in the Discord chat. You can actually find this on earningswhispers.com, not affiliated with that website whatsoever, just plugging it here because this does show, you know, the big company, uh, you know, big name companies that are reporting earnings during earnings season. And it's uh, typically very helpful to see a picture of this, right? So today we talked about Citi. We have Goldman Sachs here, right? Where are they? They're hiding somewhere. Um, you know, I can't see where is Goldman Sachs anyway? Oh, there they are right here. Goldman Sachs. We have Afria, m and today. Tomorrow is a pretty big day. We have Bank of America, Netflix, IBM, Johnson & Johnson, BlackRock. These are some big financial institutions tomorrow. On Wednesday, we have PepsiCo. We have, uh, you know, uh, Bank Corp here. Let's see what other big names here. We have Abbott, Morgan Stanley. The next day on Thursday, we have BBNT, we have Alley, we have Synchrony, we have um, American Express. I can't really tell what that says because I apologize, but this quality is crap. We have Intuitive here. And on Friday, actually, fun fact the market 
is closed, which is why you don't see any names there on Friday. So we do have a shortened week this week, and these are some of the big names to keep an eye on. And as the weeks roll on, I believe the week of, um, you know, the, the last week of this month, actually, that's when the big, big names are, you know, Google, you know, Apple, Amazon, you know, Microsoft, all of these big names, they're more towards the end of April, beginning of, uh, you know, May here. So those are just some companies to keep an eye out for today day and heading on for the rest of this week and I'm going to be pulling up that same chart on the later videos and pretty much every day just to give you guys a rundown of what to keep your eyes on. So some that I'm watching this morning, we talked about Disney in yesterday's video, ticker symbol DIS. I was talking about how, you know, I'm expecting a little pullback in Disney. It seems like we are slowly getting that this morning because we saw, as you all know by now, the big pop on Friday because there was more detail. Details um, released on the streaming service that Disney is providing, right? We got some more information on that. That caused the stock to go up 12%. And I was talking about how, you know, we could be pulling back a bit here. And someone posted a longer term chart on Disney that actually made me think a little bit, right? We can see here on Disney, if we go back to, let's say, the 20 year chart, let me pull out my little drawing tool very quickly. Check, take a look at this, guys. The level of 120 is a very strong resistance, right? We topped there back in 2015, nearly there, uh, you know, 115 ish back in 2017. We topped there about a couple of months ago here in the beginning of October. You know, not saying we're going to pull back to $120 on the dot, but I'm thinking maybe 125. Maybe if we see a slow pullback down to 125, 124 or maybe 126, that general area, that could be a good entry, in my opinion, on Disney. And that's honestly what I'm waiting for here for these next couple of weeks. And if we don't get it, you know, I, I you know, at that point, I'm going to just reevaluate my strategy. Let's say if we just consolidate here and then start to pop up to the mid 130s, I'm going to just reevaluate it from there, right? So let's talk about some other ones very quickly. We're seeing a big drop today in gold. Very, very bearish move today in gold. We're getting back down to the mid-1280s. So keep an eye on JDST today. It's probably already up a ton this morning. It's probably up a lot. Yeah, it's already up to the mid-42. dollars This is an ETF that goes up whenever gold is selling off. So if gold continues to sell off, JDST is definitely one to keep an eye on. Crude oil here has been selling off like crazy recently from the peak at about $64.75. Maybe not like crazy. I guess that's a bit of an exaggeration. It's pulling back here. We're down to the 50 simple moving average here, down about a dollar and a half roughly from its peak. So keep an eye here, guys. Are we going to maintain the 50 SMA support here? It seems like we're slowly breaking it. Are we going to get to the next level, which is at about $62.85, maybe $63 on crude oil, maybe hold that level as a new support. That could be a good potential entry on uh, you know, UWT, which is an ETF that goes up in price whenever crude oil is going up, if it does find support here, and if it reverses back up from that price point. So some stocks that I'm watching, Apple I'm watching this morning, it's down about 20 cents here pre-market hours, but it's still maintaining the 50 SMA. It's still maintaining the support at around 196, 196. Seven. So really, I'm just waiting to see, are we going to break 200 on Apple? Are we going to maintain 200 as a new support? Are we going to slowly start to trend up? It's into the mid 200s, maybe the 210. That is roughly where I'm looking to sell my position on Apple. And for those of you guys that don't know, I am in Apple right now with a small position, roughly at about 197.50 ish, right around that level. I did get in on Friday, and I'm still holding those shares. So Apple, I'm watching Apple very closely this morning. We saw a big tank today in natural gas. D gas is up a lot this morning, pre market hours. Keep an eye on that ETF. If it goes up whenever natural gas is selling off. You know, let's see. I think Facebook was down this morning last time I checked. Yeah, Facebook seems like it's getting rejected by this 179, 180 level of resistance. Are we going to pull back, retest that 50 simple moving average support? This is something I'm watching on Facebook. Or are we going to pop this morning, maybe break that 180 level, hold it as a new support, and then trend up to 185? That's also a possibility here on Facebook. 
stock. Let's see some other ones. Um, AMD is also one that I'm in right now. Not moving whatsoever. Literally, it's up zero cents this morning, pre-market hours. And how can I tell that, guys? Just take a look at this number right here. This is typically, um, really it is, what the stock ETF index future is trading at pre-market hours. What the price is pre-market hours, you'd see it right here. So the gist of this is I want to see AMD above $28. I want to see it maintain that level and slowly start to trade in between this horizontal channel here from 28 up to about $30. So those are just a couple that I'm watching this morning. Oh, let's go to BA very quickly. Boeing is very interesting as well. We're actually trending right below the 50 SMA. You know, if we break this level on Boeing, this could be a good trade back up from about 375, maybe 380, or actually no, 380, as we're there roughly this morning, 376. If we get up to 380, we break that level, you know, up to 395 could be a swing trade on Boeing. I'm watching that one this morning as well, but I'm still being a bit skeptical due to all you know the negative um, sentiment around Boeing and you all know about Boeing at this point you know all the negative um, you know sentiment around it due to its 737 plane crashes you know this is something that makes me a bit uh, skeptical about it but I'm still going to be watching it and I figured I'd mention it in this morning's video so those are just a couple that I'm watching this morning guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to hit that like button drop a comment on this video let me know what you're trading today, what you're watching. I would love to know. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Just hit that red button and hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time that I do make a video. I make trading updates, market updates, trading tips, you know, stock news videos, stock analysis videos pretty much every single day, really every single day throughout the week. And, uh, you know, sometimes on Saturdays and every single Sunday, I do make a video. So if you're into that, Feel free to subscribe. I'll catch you all in the Discord group chat. Those are, That's linked down below, 100% free if you're interested. See you all in there. Good luck today. Uh, peace out.